Advent, December 15th, 2023. Peace. Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 2 through 6. O Lord, I have heard of your renown, and I stand in awe, O Lord, of your work. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 2. Song, It Is Well With My Soul, by hymnist Horatio Spafford and composed by Philip Bliss. My little brother was born with a hole in his heart, a hole the size of a dime. I can't imagine the anxiousness and fear of my parents. While no heart surgery is easy, time and technological advancement have made the procedures more routine today. However, in the 1980s, heart surgery on infants wasn't a standard surgical procedure. Even with the procedure's ambiguity, my parents decided for my little brother to undergo open heart surgery at just six months old. One picture in our family photo album captures this medical journey. And it wasn't until recently, when my now middle-aged brother and I were perusing the family photos, that we noticed something in the image we had constantly overlooked. My little brother was lying post-operation with tubes and wires coming from everywhere. And in the corner of the photo, you see my mother smiling as she sat next to the bed. We asked her about the picture, and she told us many church members had just come and prayed for my little brother. And she let us know that amid the prayer, she had a peace that overcame her soul. When we inquired about the peace, she said the prayer was a reminder of what God had done in the past, how God had kept me, her firstborn son, when I was diagnosed with spinal meningitis two years prior. In this passage of Habakkuk, we see the same thing, a prayer of recollection. During Habakkuk's trials and tribulations, the prayer in Habakkuk 3 verses 2 through 6 is to recall everything God has done in the past. This process of remembering serves as the reassuring peace Habakkuk and his listeners needed as they endured their storms. Can you take a moment to recall things God has done in the past? Can you use those memories as a reassuring peace today? My prayer. May you peacefully navigate the day with this reassurance. If God did it before, God will do it again. Dr. Eric Gill, Director of Theological Field Education and Interim Dean of Chapel, 